What's going on everybody, I'm YouTube's ProPJ and welcome to episode 3 of Back to the Future, the game. Also, welcome to a new year. Hope you guys are doing well. Thursday, May 15th, 1986. Hill Valley Southgate. What's that, punk chick? I don't remember what happened in the last one. Oh no, we saved, um, we saved Artie and everything from memory. Yes. Back to the future. Alright, so, Citizen Brown, episode 3. So, from what I remember, we went and helped Artie, and now we're in a time zone where Doc, um, isn't a scientist? Oh, Marty. Marty, Marty, Marty. I'm performing community serve. Oh, it says on her bin she's performing community service for vandalism. Oh, good. I'm glad. Escape from here. Citizen Brown. That's Doc, all right, but what the heck's going on here? Hey, you ask a good question, Marty. Yeah. Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. <laughs> Alright, let's get the door. It's jam. Okay. Horn? Hi. How are you? What the hell? Hey, could you give me a Jennifer? Oh, shit. Oh, no. That's Jennifer. What? Uh, hi. This is the dumbest design ever. Jennifer, I need some help. Martin, it is you. Is that a DeLorean? It is. Yep. Uh, well, yeah, it's a DeLorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? Ah, uh, no. Ah. Uh. So who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. Ah. Uh. What's the date? Oh, yeah. What's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just, what's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year? 1986. Duh. Oh, man. Oh, man. This can't be happening. Yeah, apparently it is. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing down there? Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you even get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. Yep. Bet. Help me down. Can you help me down? Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And? Oh, I bet you. The door's jammed. Yeah. Can you get it open? I can't reach it. Besides, I'm not climbing under the car. It could come down on my head. It's valid. Call for help. Call someone? A tow truck, maybe. Get real. I'm in enough trouble already. I'm not going to explain your DeLorean violating a billboard to anyone. <laughs> Do you have anything you useful? Any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. Tire iron. I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my witch, Macaulay. What do you give me for it? Oh, great. You've changed. Jennifer, you look so different. That's the general idea of being a non-conformist. That's not what I meant. Yep. What are you getting at? You... Um... Your hair. What did you do to your hair? Helter Skelter. What? Helter Skelter. the same hair dye I always use. 
Clothes? What are you wearing, Jen? You look so set up. Keen eye you got there. I was gonna say punk. A whole world alien to the likes of you, dork. Never mind. I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. Maybe I have May a tire. I please have the tire iron. The tire who? The big metal thing you're holding. Oh, right. As soon as you offer up a decent trade. Oh. Um. Jennifer, you look. That's okay. Girl, yeah, 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 yeah. Skip over the boring dialogue. What's with the attitude? I'm not having this argument again. Oh. You about this before? I'm guessing you won the argument. Yeah, by the sounds of it. Never mind. Good idea. Jennifer, please. This is serious. This tire thing really has some value to you, huh? At the moment, yes. Yep. Then it better be a pretty good trade. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. Geekzilla. Rude. Hmm. Uh. Hill Valley rates. They don't need it. I don't know. Oh, Fosk. She's punk, right? There's not much left. So what's the point? I gotta get out of this death trap. Yep, working on it, Marty. Um, hmm. It's already open. I can't. There's not a lot I could trade for, her, actually. 1931 uh, newspaper. This could be the only printing left in existence. Uh, okay. I don't think that would look good there. Okay, what else can we use, Marty? You got any bright ideas? think they'd be interested in a picture of my dad. Never know. Come on. I won't budge. Let's just hit the horn more. Okay. Marty, I think we're fucked. How do I escape from it? Come on, dude. I don't have anything to trade, I don't think. All right. Don't All right. I don't know. Should we just give you time? Uh, well, maybe you can have something worth trading. I tried giving her the fask. Did I not? Or did I click on something else instead of her? Jennifer. Oh, I did. Okay. This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Yeah, a little bit. Give me here. Uh, smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Yeah, come on. That's a decent trade. Heads up. Thanks. Oh, great. Now what? Yeah, smooth, Marty. Oh. Smooth move, Marty. Just break the car. Alright. So I'm guessing in this episode we're gonna, like, travel through and try to reinvigorate, uh... Reinvigorate Doc's, um... Way to stick it Duck's to sense brother. of science and he try to get him back into that industry. Attention to change anything between us. Dig? Doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer. I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh sure, Martin. Climb on in. Yeah, she's gonna take off. Hey, yeah. Jennifer, wait. I told you we're through, McFly. I'll never take such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square. Yeah, hey, apparently so. Any worse. Oh God. Yep. Yep. There goes the car. You're stuck there now, aren't you? Shit. 
Iya. Yeah. Doc, I could really use your help right about now. <laughs> well timed. Well timed. <laughs> Get yourself into the wall of Hill Valley. How? Can I use the box? Uh, check, check. Sibilance, sibilance. Who is this? Stop messing with the intercom. Oh, ha, ha, hi. Can you buzz me in? Visitors must check in at the north gate. Oh, north gate. I'm not walking clear around Hill Valley. There's got to be another way. Okay. Got any plans, McFly? The Warren's like, yeah. Fifteenth, nineteen eighty-six. Yeah, the the date's right, but well, that's not good. Gotta take the wheel off. Maybe that's why I have the thing. I've wrecked it enough already. Man, this is the second time I've completely destroyed Doc's time machine. I just shouldn't be allowed to drive it anymore. That's some wishful thinking. Alright. Um, there's no way to get in apart from being buzzed. How the hell do you get through these? We gotta figure out a, uh, we gotta figure out a plan here. There's gotta be something. Anything. That really just won't buzz us in? Uh, uh, listen, I'm not a visitor. Can you let me in? Why don't you just use your clicker? Clicker? Uh, yeah, m mine's broken. Broken clicker? Okay, just head around to the north gate to exchange it for a working one. North gate? <sighs> I'm not walking clear around Hill Valley. There's got to be another way. All right, it keeps looking at the DeLorean. There's got to be something there. Or back at the billboard. Or we can move the trash bin over there. Maybe. I don't know. There's got to be something. There's always something. Alright, I need hints. Time machine is ruined the whole, but there is some salvageable parts. I'm trying to get salvageable parts, but it won't. It wouldn't let me take anything. I want to take the wheel. There we go. Okay, good. This could be useful. Now think, Marty. Think. Yeah. How? Now that's off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The hover system. It's better if I keep this on me at all times. Well, now that it's off the car, it looks like the power cables mm. for the hover system have disconnected. Okay, can we pull another part and undisconnect it? No, because we don't have it anymore. Hmm. Uh, I don't want to annoy whoever's on the other end of that thing. All right, but how do we get the hover system working? Isn't that the big question? Ah, Mr. Fusion. I don't really feel qualified to repair a nuclear reactor. Maybe it's still under warranty. Well, I guess technically it's way under warranty. True. I'm sorry that I keep using hints as well, but... Ah... Time machine's power comes from one component or another in the engine compartment. Okay. Dig around the back of the car. The back of the car. Battery. Bingo. 12 volts. Wait. This is the car battery. It must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. Good. Be able to get us in and out. I'm sorry if you guys don't like, like when I use hints or any. Ah, oh God, why did I press that? Um, 
when I use hints and stuff, it, I literally would be stuck here a million years trying to figure out half of this stuff out. That's that's how bad I am at games. Oh, nice. Nicely done, McFly. Uh, now it's gone. Far out. Okay, Doc. Let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Yeah. Not a good one by the look of it. All right, Doc. Let's see what trouble we can brew over here. It doesn't okay, look too buddy. different. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. Yep. It doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of biff clubs. Just take a deep breath. That was very specific. Gotta find Doc. And there are people wearing helmets. That's, uh, that's concerning. But there's a lot of golf carts. Oh my god, is he a politician now? Fuck off, is he a politician? What? No way! This is weird. Hill Valley Brewer of Discipline. It's so, so clean. It is. Good morning, citizen. Good morning to you too, citizen. Yeah, I, I, this would scare the shit out of me. Just saying. What in the fuck? Is that Doc? What's going on here, Doc? Oh no. Something bad's gonna happen to us. I can sense it. Oh look, Einstein's up there. Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Oh, oh. Hey, watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. My, uh, Mr. Parker. That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Uh... Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Uh... Shirt. Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, what are you doing? Quiet. Hold still. Oh, no. He's going to find the book. Hmm. Nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? I need to see Citizen uh, Brown. Can you tell me where I can find Doc? Uh, Citizen Brown. Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right. Working at the courthouse. Okay. All right. Heavy. Um. What happened to Jennifer? Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. Fair enough. When were you a this cop? Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. Just like my pa. Great. Oh, I great. Turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. What's with the pat hey, down? What's with the pat down? What do you think? I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble peanuts. Bubblegum is illegal. Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. What the fuck have I landed in? Uh, can you tell me where I could find Doc? Uh, he's sure already, yeah, he's already answered that. All right, so it looks like we gotta go to the courthouse and find him. So we did, 
That's weird. And this time when he followed in his dad's me. footsteps. Are you gonna make trouble for me today? No. Uh, no. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. Okay. Explore the brave New Hill Valley and find Doc. I doubt that this is going to work, but we'll give it a try. Hill Valley Courthouse. How may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Yep. No, but then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. Is that Edna? Oh God. So we still got a mafia in here. Oh no, is that him? Is that Doc? Oh no, it's Biff. Biff? Doc? Oh my god. What in the fuck? Wait, I need to talk to you. Okay. Mm, the guard. Ah, uh, come on. All right. So, if we buzz again, Z, do we have an appointment? Can we get in? Hill Valley Courthouse. How may I? Look, I really need to see Citizen Brown. It's an emergency. Are you on fire? Of course not. Are you bleeding profusely on the pavement? No. no, but it's a then it's no emergency that couldn't wait for a scheduled appointment. Good day. God damn. They really run a tight ship here. God damn. This is weird. So is Doc like I don't know, is Doc like a fucking communist or something there? What the like, there's so much... There's, like, so much propaganda of him there. Hey, can't you read? Oh, it's you, McFly. What's up, man? Hey, my bad. I should have wrote the sign in Latin, just so you'd understand. What sign? Oh, uh, yeah, the out for lunch sign. Now eat it, bay, and let me catch some Z's. Okay, I need ants. Was that Citizen Brown in the car? Why was Biff with him? You've got a question, and somebody answers maybe Biff. Oh boy. Oh boy, I gotta go confront Biff. That's, uh, that's always a good thing. Biff? Hey, you're you're George and Lorraine's youngest, Martin, right? Uh, yeah. You don't know me. Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running. Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Uh. What was? Listen, Biff. That car I saw you get out of was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ha! Ah, Doc. That should be his new nickname. But yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How do Fair you enough. Face time with him. He seems so busy. You got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. This is weird. He's being um, he's being friendly. I don't like it. Unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple, a real butthead. You a butthead? You a butthead? No. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Too much trouble, what with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. Pack, get it? Uh, yeah, yeah, right. What does this have to do with... Funny joke? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen Plus or Bust. Ooh. Hmm. Do I have a show of seeing him? Do you think I could get to see Citizen Brown if I did all the bad stuff you used to do? I guess, but why would you want to act like that? What's Citizen what Plus? Citizen Plus. It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program, and I'm the first of Hill Valley Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. Plus right. 
Tell me more. I want to know more about Citizen Plus. And I just can't wait to tell you all about it. Did I mention the swell digital watch you get with the program? Oh, great. How do you become... What do you got to do to be a Citizen Plus? It starts with an application. They take a complete medical evaluation and give you a stack of contracts to fill out. Right. That sounds boring already. But then you get an appointment with Citizen Brown in about two years. Oh, jeez. Two years? He's very busy keeping Hill Valley running. The only time he deviates Jesus. from his schedule is when some looney tune is running around racking up demerits. Fortunately, that almost never happens. Ah, uh, let's do it. At least there's a it's choice. voluntary, right? Sure, for the pilot program, but eventually it'll be mandatory for everybody. Great. Mandatory? Are you nuts? Nah, I used to be nuts. But now, thanks to the Citizen Plus program, I'm probably the sanest guy in Hill Valley. That's okay. All right. Okay, let's stop talking about Citizen Plus right now. Okay. No more old so Biff? you won't break any rules anymore? Kid! The Citizen Plus treatment makes it physically impossible for me to break rules. Ah, so, okay. Now I get physically ill if I try to break a rule. Oh. That's nice close. close. You lose a bed or something? What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone's wearing. It's Polo Shirt Thursday. You, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. Yeah. Well, there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian Shirt Friday. Ugh. Great. No. Tell me about your past. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I really don't like dredging up the past. But all right, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. Um. You said something about booze. Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers. You name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley, too. Ah. Chip off the old block, huh? Used to be I'd knock your block off for a comment like that. But yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. There you go. So there's no booze. So there's no booze in Hill Valley. Nope. Sure, someone tries to sneak some in every now and then. But cops like Officer Parker over there always catch them sooner or later. Hmm. Vicious dogs? Why dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's yeah, wrong fair with enough. That? Nothing other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. So, like, are they? Are say, they like forbidden now? Dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs yeah, throughout there you the go. Valley. You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very. Ashamed. And the women. What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't hookers? No, no, nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always discreet about my affections. Okay. Public displays of affection, Martin. You know, necking and such. That's illegal? Oh, yeah. I've had now, enough. Let's, let's change the subject. Thanks. I don't like talking about my old nasty self. Okay. See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin. That's too creepy. He's too, you know, he's too nice. What's Jen up to now? Yeah. You shady bitch. What is she doing? Oh, she's tagging. Mind if I join? Must be where Jen keeps her paints. Locked. Sup, man? Jennifer! Jen! You got a problem? Uh. Uh, I have a plan. Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm yeah. gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. Fair, fair enough. 
Breaking the rules. So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me unless you want this spray can up your... No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to uh, break a few rules myself. Yeah. You? Uh... Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer uh, years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two demerit offense. Okay. Animals? What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. Oh, lighten up. Contraband? Or I could score some forbidden materials. Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, yes. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. Public displays. This on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favorite legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew. Let's protest. This law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you going to do? Protest. That's what. Let's go stage a public kiss in. Let's not and say we did. I second right. thought maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. Are you painting? Leech and the whoosh bags. I've never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth Fair jazz. enough. I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. <laughs> Cabar some paint. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees. Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. Hmm. I'll change his ways. Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. All right. So, Jennifer. Uh-huh. What do you think of me? I don't. Ouch. I used to be popular. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crowd? Nerds. Dorks. Yeah. Left me stranded. What's the deal, Jennifer? He left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Go ahead. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kind of like you like this. Yeah. Barf! Alright, I ain't starting a streak. Ah. Alright, what do I do? Quick. Uh Jennifer running into an alley. Mean talk to as many people as you can to discover you, who your allies are. Just walk around the back and talk to her. Really? That's I'm still meant to be talking to Jennifer, apparently. Alright, alright, alright. What is it now? You act like I'm a turnoff, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because ah, that's cheesy, dude. A couple concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Not anymore. Honor student. And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. What interesting guys? With someone else, I bet I can make you forget him. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't rate anymore. Uh, dork. Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks about himself in the third person is a dork. Yeah, gotta give you that one. My mom and dad. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley standards, yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. Fair enough. Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. Nice. What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? 
Only what I hear on TV and the radio and the newspapers and the PA systems all over town. Yep. They want everybody to enroll. And they say it'll make us all happy and well adjusted, which is why I'm going to stay clear of it. That's valid. Are you going out with someone else? I Sorry, Martin. Yeah. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You want to see Citizen Brown too? Ah, uh, sarcasm, yeah. dude. Maybe he can give me a heart sarcasm. He gives you a brain. Couldn't hurt to ask. Your paint. Ah. All right. Locked. All right. I need to get the key somehow. Hmm. That leads to the soup mo. Leech is in there. I'd rather he come out here. Um. Brick doorway. They've bricked up the entrance to the old speakeasy. It's just another brick in the wall. <laughs> nice reference. Yep, still telling me to talk to Jennifer, but I don't know. I'm gonna go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. Okay, what's your plan then, McFly? Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees. Ah, uh, come on. All right, we need something. Something, something, something. Look out, son! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, that's your mum. Oh God! Hi, Mom. How are you? Tell me I can drive. Oh, she's in that program. What you doing? So what? Are you out here shopping or something? Ah, oh, shopping? Poof. Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Great, thanks uh, for sharing. For my civic duty, oh. I'll be polishing the statue. Of course, that's day. what you meant. Oh, right. What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the '86s yet. Uh, what about Fair the enough. Truck? No one owns a truck in Hill Valley, Martin. Are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just, great. I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Uh, Would doesn't... you do me a favor? No. I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Timesheet. Okay, annoying. But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, yeah, I, I'd agree to some point. But you leave no room for spontaneity. Actually, I... Uh... I know, I know, dear. Love you, too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. So can I take the car? Well, it's not the truck, but I guess it'll do. All right. Nice. Ah... Uh. It's weird. It's really weird. What is the house cautioned? What the hell? Oh, that's creepy. No. I don't know, John. Isn't this illegal? What isn't illegal at Hill Valley? What if Citizen Brown's watching? Don't worry. Oh, no. He's a peeping Tom. Yeah, he's the one watching the cameras. Dad, try to warn your old man the next time, okay? Good morning, Mrs. Brown. Uh, there you go. Um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Oh God, he's bouncing. He's jittering. Hey, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Ah. Who are you working for? My dad's a snoop. Is this your job, or do you, like, do it for kicks? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but... Wait a minute. 
You say you saw Lorraine? Yeah. 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at soup mo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers. What was that? You know your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she what? is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? Uh, mom's a boozer? Whoa, Dad, what are you telling me? Are you saying mom's a drunk? Shh, I don't know for sure that your mother has relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. <laughs> Confidentially, Jeez, shocker. I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, okay. son, you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? That's a good boy. Right. Hey, Dad, okay. To talk. What were you hiding? What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Yeah. Um, I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. Okay. Are you, you're kidding. I'm kidding. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked hard ah, he married to Edna. apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality. But, what? Confidentially, not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private, well, just listen. Okay. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. A toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse be struck by lightning. Oh, boy. You're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my Harry. Well, you can. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%. Maybe. Jesus. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly. Yeah, exactly. To oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. I'll take it. Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure. Not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. Okay. All right. Well... I'll leave you to your snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. I'll leave yeah, you to sure. Right. Another day in Hill Valley. Break some rules. You can start finding your own secret stash. Or. Irony. What's that, officer? What does it say? Sorry. Break some rules. You can start find. You can start by finding your own secret stash. Okay. George is spying. You can now have little effect reach parts of the statue. Okay. Alright, you know what? This is a good first episode. This is a good place to leave it for now. So we're going to leave it here. Um, this is interesting. It's a weird alternate timeline in this episode. I, I need to kind of wrap my head around it a little bit. Because I've, I've actually forgotten a lot of what happened in the first and second episode. So whenever I come back to another episode, it's like, Oh wait, what happened in the last one? And this was like before Telltale had the, you know, previously in, on Back to the Future or previously on The Walking Dead and whatever. So you don't actually get a recap. So I'm just trying to piece together the little things in my mind that I remember from the episodes. But anyway, interesting episode, interesting direction that it's going. 
We're going to see where it's going in the next one. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to social medias in the description box. And as always, there's a link to popyjn.com down below. Make sure you check it out if you haven't already, guys. In particular, the premium content subscription service. Uh, three to four dollars a month and get access to a shit ton of extra content. Uh, first month is absolutely free for you guys to check out. Uh, first month absolutely free. So make sure you check it out, popyjn.com down in the description. But thank you guys, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought of Back to the Future, uh, episode three so far. But until next time, I'm YouTube's PopyJN. Peace out.